Hi everybody. Hi dear. The Yorkshire Crafter. I feel like I haven't said that for a while. How is everybody? Um, do I think? Do I have anything to tell you? No, I've just put my eating on in the craft room. I came up here with a hat on and now I'm melting. So I refuse to put the eating on downstairs because we have a log burner fire. I just use that because then when you get too warm, you open the door, heat goes up. All the houses are uh, warm. I nearly said happy then. <laughs> right. I want to thank everybody first. I don't know how it came about, but somebody put a post on the Yorkshire Crafter group um, telling me not to change. I think they'd watched that video from a while ago about that person that were didn't like my accent and whatever, what have you. I'm not going there because I can't be bothered with them. Um, so somebody put a post up saying not to change and the, the nice things that were said. And do you know what? You blow me away, all of you, every time because not only did they comment, there were there were so many comments put on it. I, I felt, I sort of felt proud, if you know what I mean. And also, um, I was asked, I don't know how many times if the people could see Lexi and Rosie, so I did put a couple of photos up of them. Do not be, um, how do you word that? Don't be, don't be fooled. You see photos of them both laid together. I snap them while I can because they don't lay together. Um, Lexi gets really annoyed by Rosie. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to crack on because we don't know what we're doing today. So that helps, doesn't it? So, I have, this is a snail. Snail? Slug. Snail. Snail. I've just been looking up snails. Oh my God. They are more disgusting than what I thought they were. Ooh. Anyway. I think you call these an aperture, don't you? I don't know. Um, I nearly said medical terms. What is wrong with me? Um, yeah, I don't know. Medical again. Um, technical terms. So, um, these is AHH. And it was somebody on the Lavinia group that told me where to get these from a while ago. And I got quite a few and I've never used them. And that I don't even know what it stands for, but Etsy. So if you look at the logo that's the logo you'll see but just look for um stenciled animals and things because i've got um well i've got about 10 but i've got these are what i'm going to be working on now because i need to finish my calendars off um that's a hedgehog and then i've got the wolf so i've got I don't know what others are, but those are the next two that I'm going to be working on for my calendars. So, But I thought I'd have a go at this one just to... Um, well, I just thought it'd be different. Plus, I wanted to use my slug snail. Snail stamps. I'm going to get confused. Ignore me if I do. Right. First of all, the thing I found without putting it on the magnetic base, which I didn't want to do, it moves an awful lot. I just want to get some more... I want some more copy paper under here, just a minute. Stay there, Lexi. Oh, can't okay. oh. That's better. I'm going to actually move all that one out. I'm not throwing it, I just... It's got tatty. Right, so I use stick and spray. This is, I think it's Crafter, yeah, Crafter's Companion. My only issue I have with it, sometimes it leaves the residue. I do have the residue rubber. Oh. This takes off all your sticky stuff and what have you. But if I don't have time to take it off, I'll just do that later because I'm not doing anything around the outside, I don't think. So I'm just going to quickly spray it over my bin. But I'm only going to put a little bit on. This item may be removed and repositioned. Yeah. It says that. Wait 30 seconds for the glue to become tacky. Yeah, I'll just put a tiny bit on. Now, I literally have put a tiny bit on. I don't know if you can see. It looks like little bits of snow. I just don't want to risk it... Um, not coming off. 
Right, I was doing it on um, multivarious, but I've changed my mind because I don't know if I'm going to be using watercolour pens and stuff. I don't know what I'm using because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing apart from slugs and mushrooms. So I'm going to put this near, near the bottom because I'm going to have the grass coming up into him as well. If it's a him. Yep, yeah, must be. That's Lexi, you can snow in. Rosie's, um, I need it to be straight. I don't know how it, when it's straight. Is it going to be at an angle? That'll do. Um, yeah, that's Rosie snoring. Lexi's, um, no, that's Lexi snoring. And Rosie's um, training were cancelled this morning. Um, the guy who teaches it. Oh gosh, yeah, it's stuck to the paper straight away. The guy who teaches it. I'm just gonna make sure it comes off. I mean, they put this sticker there. I think they expect you to use it that way, but it doesn't matter which way you use it. Yeah, the guy who teaches it is um, mother-in-law's Paula. He said she was Paula last week, so we got a message at half past five this morning. So I'm presuming she's um, quite Paula. Right, I'm just gonna have a quick sip of my coffee, and then we'll get going. We'll have to, I need a wee. Like, I don't know how to stop it and start apart from pause. If I'm busting, I'll go. Right. Right, we don't know what we're doing. So I'm stamping some mushrooms. So this is a new one to me. I've had it a while, but not used it. As you can tell, it's not been um, put in its place yet. Let's get my stamping platforms out. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to pause you. I'll be back in two seconds. I need a wee. Oh, quickest wee, wee in history. Sorry about that. My goodness, I'm out of breath. I am so unfit. While I was down there, Rosie decided to wake Lexi up. Oh my God, I can't breathe. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. So... I think I'm gonna stamp the mushroom. This is me. I might be too dark. Yeah, I'm gonna go with acorn. What my plan was was to do it all in blacks and greys. That was gonna be my whole thing. And I just can't imagine it. Which one did I say? This one. I don't know what I said now. Yeah. Um, because I'm not using stamping platform, anything that needs colouring in will just be coloured in with watercolour pens or pencils and stuff. Now I think this might be too light. I can colour it in, I've just told you, haven't I? Get a grip, woman. Right, so. Wait a minute. I had another mushroom stamp, I bet I've put it away. I don't know where I've put it. But I want to put next to it. Yeah, here it is. This is the forest mushroom. So I sort of want this to go here. And then this one to look like it's well it might not work, you know. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's gonna be very close. Uh Yeah, going for it. Put a bit more ink on that. I think, I think I'll do them both in the same colours. Because if I can, when it's dry, I'd very much like to put some yellow or red dots on the mushroom. I mean, these could be wonky around. I don't even know if my paper's straight. Hey, I'm all right with that. Right, let's wipe that off. Happy with that. Just chuck that in there. I have a big, um, you know the Ikea trolleys? I have one outside of me, so the lids, the top one's empty. And anything I'm using now, because I've emptied it at last, 
I, when I'm doing work, I chuck it all in there so it can just be emptied um, from there. Don't know if I'm making a mistake here doing it in the same colour. We shall see. That's it. We don't know what we're doing. We're just playing. I just knew I wanted mushrooms because I'm putting slugs on. It's not going to work. I've already done it wrong. Now then, where's my slugs? Where are you? I keep calling them slugs and snails. Yeah, it's not going to work because I wanted him to come down off there. Right, we might just get away with it. But then he's not going to have his antenna on. I can show that on cat. I don't know if we're going to get away with it. Oh. We'll go with it. We know what we're wanting to do, so in future, Heidi, work out where your placement of your stamps is going. Now, this is why I practice first normally. Right, we're going to... Like I say, don't know if this bit's going to work. I don't even know if it's right doing it in the same colour. Too late now. And I'm going to use some little mushrooms as well. Slug, snail, snail. Snails and mushrooms. I should write snail. Um, yeah, it looks alright. I'm not overly keen just yet. Right. Well, while we've got these out, we might as well stamp them before we carry on. So I'm putting this one, I think, up here. So it looks like he's walking up the other slug. Snail. I'm going to stamp this in. Right, I got a number of colours out because I didn't know where they were going. And I am possibly going to stamp in. This probably won't look right. I am. I'm going to go Golden Meadow. This is going to be the most random. Snail, you've never seen. And let's turn it a little bit so I can. It's stuck to the paper. Um, I hope you can see. I'm having to move it so that I can see top it. I want it to be in. I'm going there. Please, Red. I want his tail to land on it though. The reason I've done it in that colour, a lot of the snails I've just looked at, they're actually brighter colours than what you think. I just thought they were, oh I don't like them, I just don't like them. I thought they were little brown things. People eat these. Why would you do that? For one it's cruel and for two it's ugh. Stamp this one in the same colour. No idea why he's walking up here. I just thought there's going to be a space there that's not going to get used. So. I wanted him a bit more, I'll tell you what, why can't we use, no, leave him like that, I'm not bothered that he's not twitching completely, that's the only thing, the quite thick stencil, so, mind you, I think a lot of stencils are quite chunky, aren't they, 
put that one in there. There was some more. Now I have a, the, I think this is just the pound snail I might put in there. Oh. Do I do it the same colour? I'll be able to colour over it, won't I? Because I know I'm putting him down here. Oh, come on, let's do it. Oh, I hate this not practising. But this is, what you're watching now is actually how I practice with all the umming and ahhing and shall I, shan't I? Let's just sit him somewhere and hope that when I put the watercolours on him that he'll change colour. Because that's permanent ink I've put. Oh, I actually quite like him in that colour small anyway. So I'm going to leave him out because we're going to use him again. That mushroom can go away. Now then, these little lights. First of all, I was going to put a bit of a mask over here. And I'm not sure what to do, so I'll leave that more. But these little lights, you can see I've never used them. These are small lanterns. I did think about putting them... Oh, excuse me, up here somewhere. And have a bit of yellow around them. Because I think I'm going to come round, round blue to give you the shape. And then maybe stencil some blue in the background. But do you know what? Just do it. Doesn't make sense because why would you have lanterns there? But I'm going to stamp them in black. So then, we don't want much of it. And I certainly don't want it on the top of the card. So, how big's the other one? I don't know. I don't see it. That's a longer one. I'm going to put this one here. I've absolutely no idea why I'm putting lights on it. No idea whatsoever. I mean, it could possibly work out that it'd be better without them. But we'll see, won't we? I think what I'm trying to do is use stuff, you know, that I haven't been using. I want to use these little ones here and all. And they might have been... I'm going to put some grass down here. They might have been all right there, but I don't want light in them, if you know what I mean. But I've pulled these two mushrooms out. I think I'm going to use them, so I'll leave them at the side. Right, let's put the other light in. Again, I'm going to leave that there because I don't want it... That'll do for now. Um, and I'll leave that aside. This is my worst bit because this is so slippy when you use the inks. If you don't get it off, they just smudge straight onto your work like it has there. Look, I didn't even see that on there. Yeah, it's going straight onto my work. Luckily, I'm going round blue, like I just said. And there. In fact, all over. I just didn't take no notice, did I? I'm trying to tell you what I'm doing. I'm not even doing it myself. So, they will go yellow. Have we finished with the... Let's do the round. Let's do the colour. So get my brushes. I'm gonna put in. I feel like I haven't used these brushes for ages. So I'm gonna come in. I'm bringing quite a bit in because I want you to really see that shape. But I'm gonna leave the bottom green. So I know I've come in with a bit of blue there, but I'm gonna try and leave the bottom green. Oh, Lex. 
Chelsea. Um, for more of a grass effect. I don't want to colour it all in, I don't think. I literally just want you to get the shape. I want the head to be darker. Get that curve of the body in. I am so sorry about that, sir. It feels like a long time, actually, since she's been up here. I am going to come in with a bit of green, just to give me the start and the bottom. Oh, I am going to come in with a darker blue as well. See, I get the ideas in my head. And then I forget what my ideas were. I sit with, you know, the little Lavinia pads um, with, is it looping on front? Looping? I sit with one of them outside of me downstairs. I've been doing a lot of knitting lately. So, any ideas I get, just drop, drop my needles. Oh, that fits in nice with that. So... Maybe I shouldn't have come up so high with the green there because it means I've got to come up high with the green underneath to about there. Didn't really want to do that. So actually, it might just be a... Oh yeah, could be a hillside, couldn't it, sort of thing. Yeah, we'll stick with it. Yeah, I really didn't want to come up that high. Right, I'm not going to put any dark green in yet because I want to put the bottom the same. Let's say... Let's put a bit of Della Blue. I'm going to use my same brush. And I'm not worried about bringing this in with it. That can come in quite happily. Yeah, that's nice. I've risked it really. I haven't covered that up. So again, I'm going to fill in the whole of these like antennae antennas whatever we want to call them because i really want the definition of that not worried about coloring the snailing i won't even give it right by the time i've finished will i i may put a stencil through here um i'll leave it a minute till i know what i'm doing I'm going to come in with a bit of dark and see what's on the lid. That is so loud. Lexi! Don't they look like lips? What is that bit? They <laughs> just look like a snail with lips. <laughs> You're not going to look at it any other way now. I'm going to bring that down a bit. See if it... No, it's too late, isn't it? Yeah. And I've gone too far in with my brush. Stop trying to cover things up. And then I'm going to do... Um, midnight blue and if I'm still not happy with the darkness I will then come in with graphite let's have a look this could be okay it's this that I'm more bothered about I want it dark I think I want it dark so that I'm not having to you know put anything in the head oh I like that I'm happy with that Lexi dog. How many of you are going to the Alleganza? Don't know if I can make it this time. Well, I've not been to the Alleganza. I mean, I don't know if I can make it to the fairy headquarters. I'll have to see what the hubby says. The thing is, we have um, 
training with Rosie and that don't finish till um eleven ish and then it'd mean setting off to Wales then. I might just have to miss it this time. I am very jealous. Right, I'm gonna leave that. I like that. I hope the bottom comes up as nice. Look, that's supposed to be my light blue brush. That's not going to happen again, is it? I've got some spares. Which I'll have to use if I'm going to put any more blue through here because that is now definitely dark. Right. I'm not going to wipe it. So I don't want to smudge it on. And I'm thinking, is there anything else I need to put on before I lift it? Because I'm just going to have it look like it's in grass. I definitely need to do something with here. It's going to have to come a bit bluer for now. Because I've got no shape there. Just wiped it all off, haven't I? The snail's probably not going to work out the way I want it to. But I definitely need that bit of shape. That's alright. I'm going to do it in my dark brown bottom anyway. I've just seen some right proper colourful ones. Look, they were like some red and white. You know, like a, a Christmas candy, they call it in America. The circle one. Red and white going swirler. You know what I mean. Yeah, I've just seen some like that. Right, so these mushrooms are going to go up when it's lifted. So here goes. Let's hope it's not tacky. Please don't be taking it off too soon. Think about it. Now this says that that's re tacky. Now, to me, that is not retacker. I'm just going to put it aside. I'm not cleaning it yet. But what I want to do, yeah, you see, it's all, it's all taken to that. I don't like, I just don't like. But it's done its job. And this rubber just takes it straight off anyway. There you go. These rubbers are amazing for taking any any kind of excess glues and stuff off or if you know if you use masking fluid use one of these i wouldn't be bothered about taking it off normally it's just that i think i'm going to be stenciling oh look i've smudged the blue you must have waited till it was dry lexi that is so loud I want a clean hand just to see if it's tacky anywhere. I mean, I could still cut it down yet, I don't know how I'm framing it around. And this is literally my practice to do it so I can get it right to put it in the calendar. I bought five calendars to do for presents and I've done three pages on one. That's it. So they're not going to get done. So I've passed one on already. Um, I am going to... I am going to sort of like raffle one in the group. Not, not for money, just... Um, I'm going to stencil over it after because... Wait a minute. I might not because this might well get rid of it. This is an ink rubber. There you go. I can get more off when it's dry. Right, come on, let's crack on. We're half an hour in. It's you lot talking to me too much. So I think I'm going to just do my normal. Let's just put a bit of grass in. No. 
no 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 let's put some stamping in so we'll get a couple of these mushrooms in i'm just going to give rosie a that lets you a quick um jab wait wake up yes hello stay awake she's gonna go straight back to snoring right so i'm just going to be using all bits and bats of oh there she goes snoring in it. i don't want pipping i was going to put pip in here looking up at him Change my mind. Right. Let's get some of these in. These are my favourite ones to use. The bind set. The twisted bind set. These all came. Was these the ones that came with the owls? The new release with the owls. And they're my favourites. I love them. Let's get some of this in first. So I'm going to use some... My favourite green out of them all is the Shady Lane. Don't know how this is going to work yet. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, 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 um. Oh. I don't like it when you're just putting them straight on. Let's go. Taking that off. I'm going to use the old faithful woodland fern first. I always think if you put this down as a base, um, she says, it seems to, oh man, I can't bring myself to do it. Grass is going to come up to there. Let's have it growing behind. A bit there. Yep, that's all right. I know it's covering that one, but that's okay. Let's do a little bit down. Yeah. Oops. Oh, that's okay. Yep, yeah, like that. But what I'm also going to do is put a darker green and it'll come in the front of them. And I'll just pick up what have I got? Rainforest. Let's go with a bit of rainforest. Oh. and take a bit off the bottom I know I'm going green on the bottom but I just want to yeah that's okay Side. Oh, I did, yeah. See, I'm up. I'm going to go over what I'd already done here. <gasps> no! Look! Don't panic. Easily sorted, she says. That's what you get for putting too many of them in. Oh, 
Oh, that's right beside me now. Do you know, I'm going to have to put a bit of base in because it's putting me off, I think. Just a little bit of... And then I sort of know where my workings are. I'll get rid of that. I'm not worried about it, really. It is annoying, but I'm not worried. There, I think that, that already, I should have done it in the first place. It makes me feel better having a bit of a base down. It won't stay like that, but it's it gives me something to work on. Right, I'm happy with that. Phew. Right, what was I going to put down? I was going to put down some little mushrooms. Let's have a... Get another thing out there, I'm not having to change it over. So, I, with this one, I didn't get red out. I'm going to give it a red top. Now, this never works right because it's two different levels. And I'm not clever enough. And I'm going to give him, I want you to have a dark green bottom. A brown bottom might be good, but I'm going with a dark green. Hey, do you know what? That might have just worked. And I'm going to put you coming up from the bottom. Yes, it worked. Normally, I just I don't have the patience to get it, you know, smack on. I am so sorry about Lexi. That is just absolutely ridiculous but andy's gone shopping so that's why she's up here with me in fact that can't be him that's back already can hear somebody downstairs um should we put one here or let's come further out because i want to put another one in as well different color different kind i like that little bit of red so this is even smaller. Should we go for a different top? Lexi dog. They're all pinks. Right. I know you don't see them, but we're having a bright blue mushroom. I mean, you might see them. How do I know? Same green bottom. Well, that's very delicate. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> I quite like that. Put a couple more in. Oh, nice with white dots on it, won't it? You put red, dot, red dots in it, I think it might look a bit poisonous. Do poisonous mushrooms have a certain colour? I don't know. Right, I'm going to do a few of these because I'm actually going to put this one behind here. I think it's just small enough to... Yeah. I like that. We'll do one more. And we will go and we're gonna come in here with the same as these. Straight in the middle. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I might put one in further down here in a bit. But for now I'm happy with that. These stamps are gonna end up all over. Right, what else did we have in this? I did want to put um, some of the little flowers in, but might it not work right? 
don't think it will. No, they don't seem to work right, do they? Let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at that one. Where's me? I wonder if... This is also one of my favourite colours. Warm Bees. Absolutely love this colour. Um, let's have a look. We'll do one and then if we don't like it, I'll have to stick with it, do we? I don't think it's going to look right. I don't think any of them are going to look right unless I start doing something around here dark. Look, I've got mucky hands everywhere. It's coming. No, it's not working for me. Do you know what? I think maybe this is what it needs across the bottom. Yeah, now I like that better. Shall I do a dark one here? Because I've done one there. Yeah, absolutely like that a lot better. Yeah, so when I darken that up, it... It looks like it's got a, you know, a place where it belongs, if you know what I mean. So that actually helped me get away with using that colour because that colour did not belong there then. Right, what else have we got? Um, I don't think I'm going to do much more to it. Apart from, we've got the colouring in to do. Let's have a look at... Where's the brighter green? Let's have a look. That stuck well, didn't it? Let's try again. Why is it not sticking? Oh my goodness me! This is going to end up being a disaster. Now, I think this is going to be too bright. I wanted it all quite, quite dark. I've gone from wanting it all black and white to it all being a bit... No, I don't even put it down. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it here because I think I'm going to cut them down. So I'm going to put it here, see if it works. I just don't know. Oh, it's different, isn't it? I should have had the slug, the uh, snail, literally on the bottom. That's what I should have done. And just a bit of grass on, under his belly, you know what I mean? That is exactly what I will do for the calendar. 100% I'll have it on the bottom. Then I won't have had to go through all this. And what, I've ended up putting it all the way on now. I don't mind it. I don't think it's going to be my favourite. But I say that and then when I finish them, they're like, well. Let's whack a bit of colour on the actual things and... See what we need to do. Where's my lid? Where's my lid? See, it's already the time's just running away, isn't it? Look how filthy that is. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing that for because I am going to cut it down. It's just annoying there. It'll cut down and it'll fit on a 7 by 5 card anyway. So this won't go to waste. 
I do need to, if possible, get rid of these though. But I also think I am going to run a stencil through the middle. Just very slight. Yeah, it'll cover that up. Right, let's put some colour on. So I've got the watercolour pencils. I think this is going to be the easiest, quickest way to colour them in. I'm just going to... So I'm going to go with him being the... Oh my goodness. It's just not my day. That just snapped on me. Oh, it's just crumbling. I think maybe I shouldn't have used that sharpener. I have a sharpener for me. Um, pastels. I am using my watercolour, aren't I? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, let's do his body the same. I can always darken it up. That's why I've started light. And it doesn't help that you've got the blue in it as well. But it's okay. I'm not worried about it. I want to take that right up to the edge if I can. And let's give him a... I don't want it too dark. Let's go through. I'm not doing it very... Dark. Like I've just said, I can always, always add more. You just dry it off and then do it again. I'm going to try. Let's have a look about colouring you in. I'm not bothered about him being full because it would be nice to see a mix. Now right, let's just go with... What we've done there, let's have a look. Where's my little brush? That's not my little brush. I don't know why I didn't get everything ready. This should do it. Let's go with you first. Yeah, definitely needs to be darker, don't you? Which tells me that this is going to need to be darker. Yeah. What I'll do is do this bit. Oh, look at the paint it's picked up there. That's all right. I'm not worried about that because I said it could, it can be a dark bluey browny colour. I'm all right with that actually. In fact, let's drag a bit more of that up. Yeah, that's okay, that. Make sure I wipe it off, though. So, that tells me I need to be... I'm just going to dry that off and put a bit darker on. If you don't let it dry off, you'll just make your water, uh, your paper pill is it it'll just it'll go horrible so what i'm going to do is do you in the darker one in the more brownie and you i mean with all the circles that need to be in this i might even just leave him just colored in We'll see. I'll put you on the bottom. Yeah, I'd have been better off just stamping him in a dark colour to start off with, wouldn't I? I'll do the antenna thing with me little pens after me. Um, um, Kuretake pins. 
and I'm just going to literally swirl that round. While I'm here, I'm also going to give you... Is that my darkest? No. I'm going to give you a bit of dark on. Give that a bit of dark. We'll give it a bit of dark on the bottom. And I'm also going to give you a bit of like a ready orange. Oh, I've put my hand in water underneath. I think that'll look all right. Won't it? I'm only rushing now. It's I didn't realise how long it was going to take to do it. See, that's what it's like when I'm practicing. Um. Should have done this bit after actually. I'm just going to put that in round the light, and I'll use yellow pan pastel round um, the edges. That's all right. Just put a bit of yellow round edge. I'm just going to let that dry a minute. I can honestly say this is not my favourite. I'm just hoping it turns out as good as it did in my head. Alright, let's try colouring it in now. It's not... Um... I may even still yet yeah, when it's dry add some more to that. But um I do I don't mind them colours actually. Can't talk about breathe. Mm, I wish I'd done them a few different colours. I can always do that after, but you get the idea of what I'm doing. I wanted that to be darker. And for some reason, it's not ticking as well. Now that's picked up the blue. I don't mind that at all. Yeah, don't mind that at all. Snowing so loud. Off camera, I'm going to darken them up a little bit. I don't. I, I can't really see what you're seeing. I was cut the time already. I'm so sorry, guys. Let's just. That's blue. Let's darken this up a little bit. I like that. I love the colour that it's left it underneath as well. You know, it's got the the ink and the watercolour on it. And you can actually see them. I like that. That should darken the bottom. Oh, I really like that. That. I love that. I think what I'll do is put some I 
I'm going to put some dots on, but I'll use stickles to do these bits, I think, especially that line. I'm going to put some maybe gold, I don't know yet. Bit of it's just stickles, you'll see it on the pictures. I'll, I'll do that bit offline. Definitely need some dots on it, and these definitely need altering, but I need to keep drying them off. Um. I'm going to just put a little bit of orange up the side of the, see if it works. It might not work. Just see if that picks that up. Oh, it has, yeah. I don't know how much you can see there, but it's definitely picked it up. I don't even know where I've put it now. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh, it's got let's give it like a red glow. Do what the colours are really annoying me. The snails. Right, I'm just, I'm going to do this little bit and then I'm going to come off. I'll let you guys go. I just really need to darken these up a little bit. Um, and I'll do the, in fact, I'll show you what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to take this stencil and I'm going to put it that way. And with the blue, which I don't have on my brush anymore, do I? Where's me, where's me, where's me, where's me, where's me blue? Yeah. I'll just do this bit and then I'll let you go and then I'll just do the finishing touches on off camera like I normally do. I'm sure you're used to me doing that. So just in this middle bit here, I don't want it to be massively obvious, but I don't want to. I don't want to leave it stark white either. Oh, that's perfect. I'll show it in a minute. Let me just knowing that I'm going to cut the edges off. I'm actually going to come in a bit then because because I'm going to cut all that off, and it makes the sides equal. So I'm just. Very lightly. Don't matter what stencil you use, I've just picked this one up from the side of me. I say I'll darken the edges up. But I love how dark the snail is. Slug. Snail. I'm making it a little bit more obvious. Yeah, there you go. Can you see that? Especially in here, it looks lovely in there. I kind of like. It. Apart from darkening these up, which I'm going to do now off camera, I I don't mind it. And I'll I'll um matte and layer it as well. So you'll you'll notice on pictures. I'm going to put a bit of pan pastel around here, and then we're done. I still think they look like lips. Right, I'm off, guys. I'll finish it off and I'll get it up as soon as I can. Thanks everybody, bye.